So that hopefully covers getting our records that are matching or not matching in tables. But what if you have a little different type of data? So let's say you have this list of names with emails and phone numbers and this list of names. Oops, let me actually move this over here so it doesn't get in our way. So this one and we have this one. And the challenge now is that there are no IDs. Sometimes when you have this sort of situation, now you might be able to just use emails in this case and get away with it or just phone numbers. But you may have situations when you can't use one column as identifier. And what you have to do, just create that identifier. So you're basically trying to see, is there a whole row in here that's matching a whole row in here? So for this, you're going to have to create an ID. Now you can see how we have comments here, not here, right? So that's a whole different issue. So we just have to base our record matching on this three first columns. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new column here for that unique ID. And then I'm going to call this ID to create that ID. I'm going to basically join multiple columns together. So I'll start with my function called concatenate. So I'm going to do the first one, comma. And what I want to do instead of just doing the next one, the next one. So a lot of people do this. They just join all three together. I don't like this method because it could have some false positives. So what do you want to do? You want to have some special characters separating columns. So it's definitely unique. Triple hyphen something like that. So just find something that wouldn't exist in your data and use that. So I'm going to do, let's say triple hyphen and do that because this is my text. It needs to be in quotes, comma again. I'm going to do the second piece, comma. And between each piece, I want to do this triple hyphen thing. So quote again, comma, and then do this phone number. Now those would be three columns. I want close this hit enter. And that creates this new column that I'm going to use as a unique ID. So I'm going to send this down and this will be my column to be able to match this column. I will also have to do this in here. So I'll do just ID and you'll do your equals concatenate. So I'll do this comma quote one, two, three quote again, comma second one. So basically I'm repeating the same thing here, right? Comma. One, two, three, this, comma again, and this. Close parentheses, hit enter, and that does that. So double click to send this down. That creates my IDs column. So now what I'm going to do is the same thing. So you're just doing your match. So I'm just going to add another column here. I'm going to call this filter. Now this just gets here because it's too long, but just don't pay attention to it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for this ID that I made in this ID that I made to find the match. So I'm going to do equals is number, remember, and then we'll do our function match. And then I'll search for this comma, and I'll search for this in this ID column, control shift down four to lock it comma and this is an exact match so zero close parentheses again remember don't go back to the other tab just keep doing it here so that's going to be our match and to close our is number we do another parentheses hit enter and that says true meaning we're able to find that so if you send it down see this person we're not able to find that because that unique id we've created from multiple columns didn't match so that will give you this. Now you can filter it, do whatever you have to do. What I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this. And we'll do this using our add on again. The same thing I just described with our match function. So again, I'll have to do the first things first. I'll have to first convert this to a table. So I'll do insert table. Hit OK. It has headers. Perfect. So I'll call this names one and then go to this one, insert table, 
call this names to create a connection. So click on the first one, go under my add-on from table, name, close and load to, only create a connection, go to the second one, repeat this process, only create a connection. So now that I made my connection, I'm going to go ahead and get to my Power Query. So the first thing I'm going to do actually, which I sh probably should have done as I was making my connection, but I'm just so used to doing it first that I didn't get to it. So what I'm going to do now is go and change this. See, I have this names one, names two. I'm going to right click on that names and I'm going to edit it because what I forgot to do is create that merged column. That's going to be our ID. That means we're going to have to go from here under add column because we're adding a new column. I'm going to click on those three columns I wanted to use for merging. So you can click on the first label, shift the last one to highlight all of them. If they're not right next to one another, just do control click first one, second one, third one, just highlight them. And then I'm going to go here under add column, do merge columns. So this is going to show up. So now it's going to say, what do you want to use as a separator? Remember that same triple hyphen or whatever I was creating. So you could do none. So I'm definitely going to use something. So I could use any of this. I could also do custom and I'm going to use my custom triple hyphen separator. What are we going to call this column? I'm going to call this column ID. I'm going to hit OK. That creates that new column. See with those IDs. Perfect. So this is good. So I'm going to load this back. So I'm going to go under home, close and load, close and load. That gets back. Now I have to do this for my second table names two. right click. I'm going to go ahead and add it. So again, add column I'm Going to highlight this columns, merge columns and the separator is going to be three hyphens. I'm going to call this again ID. Okay, that makes our new column. Perfect. So now I'm going to go under home, close and load, close and load. That gets us both of this. So now we should have all of this. These are just connections. It's not really loading. See in our tables, we can't really see it. We're kind of creating those columns in the background. So at this point, I can just take that names to that connection and I can merge it with the other one. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to do merge and I'm going to merge it with names too. And now if you see that column is showing up, see that ID. So this ID should match this ID. So if you just want matching records again, click on this. So that's fine. I'm going to click OK. So that's that second table here. So I'm going to click here, uncheck this and ID is the column I'm looking for. OK. And in this column, I just want to filter this to nulls to get to the ones that are not in the other table. Name this to whatever this is supposed to be. I'm going to call it final results. Something like that. Go back, close and load, close and load to. Oh, by the way, you probably want to remove that column. We don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see this merged ID column either. I just want to see our clean, nice table that just shows whoever was not on the other tab, right? So close and load, close and load to table, new worksheet is fine, load. And now we have a list of people that were in this list that are not on this list. And then you can work with this. So you can name this something. So again, next time you have to do this, you don't have to go to any of those steps. All you have to do, just get your names here, get your names on this other tab and just go back here and refresh this. And it will just do the whole thing in the background, create that matching column, do all that other stuff, remove and get you the results. So the final thing I'm going to show you in this video is 
what if you have this list of names and we know that some people in this list are available in this other list and some people in this list are available in the list on the left. Now we want to just get one clean table without any duplicates and get the results in there. Okay, so let's get to doing this. So we have this table, we have this table, and we would like to get that final thing out of this. To do this, first, you wanna make sure that your comments, if you have any, usually it's best to not have any comments, but a lot of times in companies, people will write comments on their main work files. So if you have comments, just use your comments as your first table so you can preserve those comments that are in there. So first I'm gonna go under my add-on and do this from table. I'm gonna give this a name, main list. And that's pretty much it. Just close and load, close and load two, and only create connection. All the way down here, I have so many already in this list. Go back to the second one, again, do from table, new additions, close and load, close and load two, only create connection. So now I should have both of those. So I'm gonna start with my main list, this one, right click. So I'm gonna click append, add that second list. New additions, okay. Now what this is going to do is just gonna take the first list and it's gonna take then the second list and it's gonna put them on top of one another. This includes all the duplicates and everything in it. It's basically just taking the first table on top and then after that's done, it's basically putting the second table below. But that's not what we're looking for. We're trying to get rid of all the duplicates. Now we need to check for duplicates in just these three columns, not comments, because comments is going to be available in the first table that's not in the second table. And that's why we need to first do that main table because when we remove those duplicates based on these three columns, whatever's on top is going to stay, whatever's below is going to get removed. And that's the way we're going to preserve our comments. So I'm going to click on this first three columns. I'm going to highlight them. Those are the ones where we should look at with our duplicates. And then once it's highlighted, I'm going to go on top and do remove duplicates. Now, because I've highlighted these three columns, it's going to look at those duplicates just based on those three columns and it's going to remove them below from the list. So I got 281 records as a result of this. So just to show you what it was before, I'm going to just go here and remove the step. So before we had 433, that's where we just combine both together. But once I take this three and remove those duplicates, scroll down, now I have 281 records or so. So at this point, this is ready. All I have to do is just name this, give this a proper name, and then close and load, and put it in a table, maybe in a new tab, and this is our clean list, both of them combined, all the duplicates removed. I think we've covered quite a bit in this video and I'm gonna end on this. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.